Lucas Media. I've been seeing these different. Everybody making videos. Shout out to 78 and a few other content creators. Make videos on Derek James and Earl Spence have potentially split up. And I've seen everything from it's about money to Earl Spence getting dominated by Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, one rumor I heard was that Jamal and Earl both left Derrick James. Uh, my bad, not Jamal, Jamel, my bad. Jamel Charlo, the former undisputed fighter at 154. And I heard that they both were shorting them. Now, let me get my quick thoughts about all of this. I hate this. I remember just, it was just, um, was last year? Derrick James was fighter of the year. I know it was, it was last year. It was Jamel Charlo too, my bad y'all. But yeah, last year, Derrick James, I believe last year it was fighter of the year. I mean, trainer of the year. I keep saying fire. Trainer of the year. And he had a stable, right? He had Jamel Charlo, Brian Garcia, Anthony Joshua. Earl Spence. Uh, it's somebody else he had too. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I think he got Frank. He had Frank Martin as well. But yeah, Der Derek James has had. He had a stable, and you can see he he made it from the ground up. Like I said, he had Charlo, and he had uh, Earl Spence. And then of course, when you start winning, people want to jump on the bandwagon, but. You know, I was all for that brother getting paid, but, you know, it's been a a hard year. Last year, like I said, him him with Earl, Earl losing, and the way he did, a lot of times these fighters, or even the fighters, the people around them, they got to play the blame game. It's got to be somebody fought but their own. And I would hate to see that. I believe Derek James has always been his trainer. And the thing that irritates me the most is, Earl Spence only had one loss, and he had three of the four major belts. But you got people saying, "Oh, he's a he's overrated," and I, I'm like, "Well, he's a future Hall of Famer. Like, it's not even up for debate." But because he had one loss, now he got to shake things up. Now, maybe Derrick James just wanted to leave Earl, you know. But that's hard for me to see. And this rumor has been out for a while. I didn't want to believe it, but. You know, Earl been inactive, and like I said, once money starts getting involved and losses get involved and people want to play the blame game, usually this is where um, you start seeing them, a lot of these fighters change the people that's around them. And if this is, if this is true, it is what it is. I wish Derrick James the best. Who he got? A, he got a lot going on with Ryan Garcia. And then even with Earl Spence, I don't know what he's going to do. He's been almost a year since he's fought. And we don't know when he's fighting, what weight class, where he's fighting. Him and Terrence was supposed to fight, but then they didn't. And Earl had eye surgery, but then Terrence said he's moved on. And now Terrence has ex exercised his WBO claws to fight Tim Tazu, the winner between Tim Tazu, after this upcoming fight. So, I don't know. We'll see. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Hopefully, this is just rumors and these two brothers still stick together. But we'll have to see. But tell me what y'all think about it.